Okay, let us work this. One single crochet and one increase. I will catch you up at the end. Okay, this is how it should be looking like. And now for the round number four, you will crochet two single crochet, one increase, repeat six times, and you should have a total of 24 stitches at the end of this round. We will start, uh, stop increasing here. Okay, I will catch you up at the end. All right, so once you finish working your round number four and you have 24 stitches, you will work two rounds with just 24 single crochet. Okay, so for round five and six, you just work 24 single crochet and I will catch you up here at the end of this round. <laughs> All right, so we're good. So this here we have, and let's move on for round number seven. Okay, so here you will work four single crochet, one decrease, and you will repeat four times. Should have a total of 20 stitches here. So we'll start decreasing here and will be not even decreases. So we'll decrease just four stitches this time. So here is my first decrease. Okay, focus. <laughs> yes. So you repeat this four times and I'll catch you up here. Great. So now again you'll work two rounds only with single crochet, not increases or decreases. So for round eight and nine, you will crochet 20 single crochet. Okay. Great. So we have here, we work our two rounds and we will do one more round with decreases. So this time for round number 10, you will crochet eight single crochet, one decrease, repeat two times, and you should have 18 stitches at the end of this round. Okay, this will be the pattern for the ears. So you will work one round with decreases, and then you will follow up by two rounds just with single crochet. Okay, so here I reach my first decrease, and I will repeat this, and I will catch you up at the end. All right, great. So as I explained before, now we'll work round 11 and 12, 18 single crochet. Okay. So you just work your single crochet here and I will catch you up for the next round. Great. So here we are and starting the round number 13. So here you will work one single crochet, one decrease, repeat six times and you should have a total of eight uh not 18 <laughs> of 12 stitches 12 stitches okay all right all the way around and here we have now you should have 12 stitches here and again you will work two more rounds with just 12 single crochet so for not two <laughs> again i'm mistaken three rounds so round 14 15 and 16 you will work 12 single crochet. Okay, three rounds here. Great, and now we finish the ear of our bunny. So you cut the yarn here, leave a tail for sewing, and you make another one, of course, because we want two ears of our bunny. Here you can use your creativity. Maybe you can do with the different, different colors, you know, the ears. I think it will be a very lovely bunny. Imagine, one brown, one white. I don't know. Okay, let's move forward. Now we'll start making the feet of this chubby bunny. So we start again with six single crochet in the magic ring. Let's move a little bit faster here because you know, I hope, I hope you know already how to make that. And we'll start here for the second round. So here you will work six increases and you should have 12 stitches at the end. All right. Moving fast forward. Okay, let's secure this beginning and move for the third round. 
So here for the third round, uh, you will work just 12 single crochet. So from the round three to 12, you will work 12 single crochet. Okay, I made some confusion here. For the third to 12, you will work 12 single crochet. So stop the video here, work your rounds, and this is how it should be looking like once you reach round number 12. So once again, you cut the yarn, you leave a tail for sewing at the end, and you make two of them. Because in our chubby bunny, we want two uh, feet on it, two little legs. Here is the second one of mine. Ta da! Great. Now, here, this is the detail, is his tail. So you will repeat the previous rounds from one to four of the feet you will do for the chubby tail, okay? You can substitute this tail like this for a pom-pom, for example, which I think will be lovely. But in my case, I wanted to do this way. So you just crochet again the round one to four of the feet, okay? Fine. Now let's start sewing these pieces together. So here you see I use uh, pins to fasten my ears here, where I think it's a very nice position and symmetrical to me. And I grab one stitch of the chubby body, like this, and one stitch of the ear, like this. So this is how you're going to be looking, uh, working to sew this. It's very important for you to go slow, to look if the ears are still in the same position as you place them with the pins. It's very important sewing the pieces together. I think it can be the most difficult uh, part of the toy. If you wish to know the exact position where I'm sewing all the pieces here, check out the written pattern. I write completely which uh, round you start sewing and finish. You see here you sew going up to the head and then going down here. And this is how it should be looking. Once you're done and you do the same thing for the feet. You see down you put in the straight line two of them together. Making a straight line in the central part of of the bottom here. See, it's all in the central and you work basically the same. You grab one stitch from the chubby body and then here you take two stitches. You see closing here the legs, the feet of this little bunny. So again, one stitch from the body and these two stitches here closing the feet together. See? two stitches here. So that's how you're going to be sewing these pieces together. Okay, I will finish this here and I will catch you up by showing you a little bit else where we need to shoot, uh, to sew, <laughs> to shoot, to sew it. Okay, I will finish this. All right, this is what I want to show you. So here I finish this line and you see the feet is open. So you bring your yarn here to the a little bit to the front and you just make a little mm, a little stitch so the feet is not uh, floppy and falling, you know? I'll just yes. That's super good for me. I want my legs to be very firm. And that's it. You see? Super good. Now I'll just fasten this off and secure this yarn. And continue sewing the other one. All right, this is looking very great and firm. This is at the end, how it's supposed to be looking like. Now you do the same thing, but with the tail. All right? So I'll not repeat this procedure. So here is the feet, here is the tail, which you can choose to add a pong pong. Now I put the pins 
to fake the eyes, so I know where I want to embroider the eyes. And I will start embroidering my eyes. I wanted to show you how I make this. Not my eyes, but my bunny eyes, right? <laughs> if you're using the safety eyes, um, you can check in the written pattern, again, uh, the position I add the eyes of the bunny. I prefer embroidering the, the eyes. I don't know about you, but this is how I make. I just go mm, uh, embroidering a bunch of straight lines with the size of one stitch. Okay, so I make many of them. Okay, this is super great. Very nice. Now I'll move on for the other side. And I will catch you up here so we do the little nose. <laughs> great. I'll come back here soon. All right, so here with the same yarn, you finish embroidering the other side, the other eye. And now here you make a straight line here with the size of two stitches. Okay? One round, uh, round under the eyes and in the middle, in the central part. So here you're going to make a couple of lines. So I think two or three. Let's see how many of them will be enough. Do those things slowly, you know. Go checking your bunny, seeing if it's nice. Now here I'll bring the yarn to one round under this little nose because I want this straight line here to be like the bunny nose. Yes. We are almost done. All right, look at this. Ta-da! Now I'll just secure this and cut this yarn. Oh my god, so chubby. And this is the finished bunny. I hope you enjoyed this chubby little bunny and that he brings you a lot of luck. See you in the next time. Bye!